Hey guys, before we get started on today's video, I would like to take a moment to talk about today's video sponsor, Dubby. Dubby is an energy drink that is loaded with vitamins and nootropics. Dubby is a great drink for anyone that wants to focus without jitters or crash. Unlike other energy drinks, Dubby prides itself on developing a clean energy formula that is free from fillers, maltodextrin, and artificial colors. Go have a look at everything Dubby has to offer. Use the code ERIC666 to get 10% off your purchase. Now, to the video. What's going on, Bear Fam? Welcome to another video. As you guys can see, I have another guest here with me. You have seen him in a video before. It's the stories from the Chaotic Viking. Hello. Um, today, we're going to be making a powwow together. This will be the first powwow on the channel where I'm doing it with somebody else. Um, and they actually, there's just a deer walking through the basketball court. Is it a deer or a no deer? It's, uh, oh God, there's a guy walking up to it. <laughs> As I was saying, welcome to another video. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so the question is, which one's the skinwalker? <laughs> right. That's the real question. <laughs> so, today's powwow is actually going to be on fast food versus grocery and our opinions on what might be more expensive and why it's more expensive. <laughs> Inflation. Um, <laughs> but. <laughs> That's the easiest answer. Um,. So yeah, uh, I'm excited to get into this, uh, especially, you know, I think you guys will be seeing him a lot more in our videos. Uh, you know, hopefully we can do some more collabs and stuff like that. Maybe I could, listen, uh, maybe I could collab with you on a story or something. Oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, go follow him. It's the stories from the Chaotic Viking, or stories of Chaotic Viking. Um, stories from link. the Chaotic Viking, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and if I got it wrong, too, link will be down in the description. Um, go follow them. Uh, I think they made an update the other day about not being able to post much right now. Um, so yeah, we'll, they'll get that figured out, but they have some really cool content in the meantime that you guys can go watch. Um, so let's get into it. So fast food versus grocery. Oof. Yikes. It's going to be a fun one. It's, it's ridiculous is what it is. <laughs> I, yep. I could tell you right now, like, okay, so just to give you guys an example of just how bad it is. So we actually, uh, McKenna and I, we actually went to the store the other day and we mm -hmm. bought, I think it was, it came out to $85 worth of groceries. And we used an app to save us like $15. So it was like, it wasn't bad. It was like $70. But when I say it wasn't bad, that literally was for a meatloaf that we got, which was like seven eighty eight. Um, some stuff for some pasta, two heads of lettuce, and uh something else I can't remember, it was a drink of some sort. Um but that stuff used to cost like fifteen, twenty bucks. Now it's like almost sixty, seventy dollars just for basic stuff. Mm-hmm. It's crazy here. So like, like last year, you know, my uh, my wife and I, we would go get groceries, and a hundred dollars would cover us for the week. You know, we don't we don't really cook a whole lot. We don't have a stove in our place, but a hundred dollars used to cover us. We can get four days worth of food for a hundred fucking dollars now. If we want to get a week's worth of food. Just for two people in the tiny little house, we have to spend at least $230 for it to last the entire week without us having to be like, all right, um, are we going to be able to eat more than once today? Right. And that's, and that's really sad, too, like knowing like how it was versus how it is now. Like, I remember when milk was like $2.30. Like, right? you, you get a gallon of it for like two bucks. Go to the store, yep, got my milk, and then you still have money left over to go buy a ton of other stuff. Now it's like almost $5 for a gallon of milk. And, and I look at it, I'm just like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other day, there was actually a deal online where it was, uh, if you buy something, you get a free gallon of milk. And we were like, heck yeah, let's do it. Do it. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely. I mean, what's your opinion? Uh, fast food or grocery? Well, at least when it comes into my state where I'm at and how, like, my to my life's eating habits, 
if we want to get a week's worth of food, you know, stuff that we can microwave, munch on, have drinks that will last us comfortably through the week, it's $230, which, when I was a kid, my mom could spend $100 and get a month's worth of groceries. If we want to go get fast food, it's on, it's cheaper to go get fast food throughout the week, because me and Lexi, we go to, like, Sonic, it, our meal is, like, 20 bucks, sometimes 30 Right, and, and that, twenty bucks for five days—that's a hundred dollars compared to an extra hundred and thirty. Right. Yeah. And and what's crazy about that too is like that's still with like you could have leftovers too with fast food. Like there's most of the time like like a good example, right? <laughs> me and bless you, Excuse and me. bless you. Ugh. Um, me and McKenna could go to McDonald's right now. If she got here, we could go to McDonald's right now. And I love me some cheeseburgers from McDonald's or hamburgers. I could buy 20 of those suckers and have food for a week. And I would only spend 30 bucks. Right. <laughs> so it's really right. sad. Like when you look at the comparison on it and you're like, okay, this is ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Um, it costs more to cook than to go out and eat. What kind of society? <laughs> right. Well, and like they have deals like at Subway, right? You could go and get three sandwiches for twenty bucks. Okay, that's right. three days worth of food. Like if you're somebody like me who does not eat three courses a meal or three courses a day, like three meals a day. Yeah, I, I don't either. I, I don't know if it's just more so like a a thing with me. I just feel bad when I eat three times a day. Like my body just does not like me. Um and so, like, I'll eat a little breakfast, and then I'll eat at, like, 2 or 3 in the afternoon, and then I'm good for the day. Like, I'm I'm fine until tomorrow. Um, yeah, I and, mean, I need, like, one decent meal and, like, snacks if I get peckish, and that's really all I can eat. Yeah, but, and see that, I think, honestly, it's kind of screwed up to say, but I think that's part partially because of, like the way we've had to train our bodies, our generation having to survive the way we have, we've had to. Because let's be honest, the generation before us, they're living pretty nice. Like, of course, inflation affects them, and I'm sure that they have their issues too. But, I mean, we come from a generation that had parents and older family members who already had money. They, they had the money. They had retirements. They had pensions. They had all this other stuff. And they didn't really have to deal with this kind of inflation other than I think, if I'm not mistaken, like back in 2000 something when they had a massive like recession or something like that it was a huge economic thing. But they didn't. We're dealing with it now. We're in our 20s. I mean, there mm -hmm. are there are literal college students who are paying not only for college on their own, but have even said that we're not going to pay any of our bills because we can't. They would right. rather they would rather go buy food that they can open up in a can and eat then pay their school loan or their power bill. And it's ridiculous. Like good example. You know raviolis, Chef Boyardee. Mm -hmm. Yep, huge, my favorite huge raviolis. Fan. Huge fan. <laughs> I love me some Chef Boyardee. I'll eat just about anything from them except for the cheese filled ones. Those are a little sus. Um but I will tell you right now, they used to be like 40 cents remember when they were like mm -hmm. 40 cents and you could get a ton of them and it would tie you over for weeks mm -hmm. like i literally as a kid in high school my mom would get so mad at me sometimes because i would straight up just go buy a ton of raviolis <laughs> and like i was that kid that would buy like 30 raviolis for like 18 dollars <laughs> right and like i would eat two a day and you got to think Two a day, that's what, 15 days? That's over two weeks worth of food if you just mm -hmm. ate those. Like, that was the life. And then now it's like you go to the store and you can't buy one for more or for less than a dollar forty each. Right. And like, <laughs> <laughs> why so expensive? <laughs> right. Oh, God. I mean, I really do hope that uh, groceries become a lot less soon. I know there's a lot of people out there struggling with it. And, and if you guys are torn between picking between fast food and grocery, pick what's best for you, but also be smart about it. 
I, I know, you know, you know, it's not, it's not a secret that our generation is struggling right now. I mean, they're, you've got teens that are in apartments debating on whether or not they should pay for power or go buy some canned food from the store. That's super sad. Very. Like the, it, it, this generation is just it, screwed. And I'm, and I'm, I'm afraid that if we don't fix it, then our kids are going to have it even worse. And right. that's what scares me the most is mm -hmm. I don't want to wake up one day and my kid call me and say, so a hamburger at McDonald's was $15. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like 15. Was that a meal? No, just the one burger. Just the burger. The meal is 25. Come to me at McDonald's. What the? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I would never do that. <laughs> so let's actually put a little poll down in the comments. Do you guys prefer fast food or do you guys prefer grocery? I honestly, I think if you're smart with it, you can get away with a lot with groceries, but you have to, you can't be picky. That's the problem. Is there yeah. a lot of people who are super picky and they, and they feel like they need to get like. The on brand name brand stuff. Exactly. I mean, heck, there's not even, they're not even Chef Boyardee. I've seen off-brand raviolis that are cheaper. But like, right. <clears throat> just be safe with it. Don't don't just get it because it's cheaper, because you feel you can't afford it. Get it because you feel it's safe. Because I've seen people getting the cheapest brands they can possible and still getting sick from them. So, oh, it's a mess. It's really a mess. Yeah, it is. So, um, yeah, I could tell you that if uh, if it doesn't get better soon, I feel like we're going to have a lot more issues. Um, yeah. By the way, you can hear like a uh, vibration noise. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm doing this on my phone and I'm getting messages. Yeah. So, <laughs> they, uh, so yeah, just bear with us, guys. Um, like I said, I think you said you're coming back on Sunday. Yeah. Early Sunday, Sunday morning. So... The he'll be back on Sunday, so he should be able to get that figured out for you guys. More content and stuff. Um, the I do thing have D and D on Sunday. Yeah, but sure. yeah. So as soon as I get home, I'm gonna start editing, and whatever I don't get posted that night will be posted Monday morning. Gotcha. Well, and to like you know that's something a lot of people don't understand is like we don't always just sit and edit videos and, and <laughs> yeah, like, we uh. We've got stuff we got to do, too. <laughs> yeah. I'm currently out of town for a, a, a friend's performance event. By the way, I... five total days I'm going to be gone. <laughs> then again, I can't really talk. Like, my daily schedule consists of me sitting at the desk doing videos and watching Street Outlaws. So... <laughs> <laughs> Um, and the occasional live stream on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So right. I, I can't really talk about not doing much other than video. <laughs> I mean, it's technically my full time job, but um, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, you know, if you guys have any other suggestions about powwows that we could talk about later on, let us know, because I really would like to know what your guys' thoughts are. Um, you know, I would prefer not to do like political topics and things of that nature just because we're not a politics channel. Um, same thing so with just, religion. <laughs> yeah, same thing with religion. Anything that's going to be the spark of huge debate, you know, like fast food versus grocery, it's not really a debate. That's more so like just us talking about what we would prefer and like why we prefer it and like giving a few examples of our personal experience with it. Um, cause I'm from Wyoming and it's affecting us here, which is very rare because Wyoming does not typically get affected and that's how, you know, it's getting bad around the nation. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, so just keep it, just keep it professional and keep it realistic guys. Um, honestly, I think next week's powwow, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> But if you guys want to see more of the Chaotic Viking in my videos, go ahead and smash that like subscribe button. Go ahead and post down in the comments if you guys like the videos with them. I know today was kind of an kind of an all over the place topic, uh, powwow, 
but I mean, that's kind of what powwows are for anyways. It's just kind of just to chat with you guys, give you guys our side of things and, and fill you guys in on what's going on. Um, so yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and smash that like subscribe button. Twitter, Graham, TikTok links are down in the description. Go follow the stories, of the chaotic Viking um, link will be down there as well. You guys can find it right under the description. Um, let's see what else. Also, go check out the merch store. Uh, Ten percent off if you use the code Early Bird, all caps, no spaces. And with that being said, hope you guys have a fantastic day.